my beautiful Cancerians, welcome back to the channel. Getting ready here, Lisa here, getting ready to do your tarot reading. I hope everybody is doing fantastic. Just going to see what energy comes through, Cancer. Thank you, Spirit. What can you share with my beautiful Cancerians? What does my beautiful Cancerians need to know? Oh my gosh, Cancer. I see love on the horizon for you. I see some sort of change, transformation happening in your life, leading to a partnership and commitment. Some sort of big change that's happening. It's a shift. Partnership, integration, two people who respect each other. And promise of commitment. This could be a lasting love. Could be two people coming to a, a, together who are in agreement of what they want when it comes to love. This can also talk about engagement and marriage. Wow, Cancer. I'm going to pull. I'll just put these here and then I'm going to pull the tarot. All right. Now, let's see what comes through here. Thank you, Spirit. What can you share with Cancer about this? Let's talk about rebirth and transformation. What's happening here with rebirth and transformation? Okay, look at that. We got tower here too on the bottom of the deck. Let's see what we got. We got ten of wands. Got three of swords here. And we have justice. Interesting, Cancer. Something's coming into balance. Something unexpected here is about to happen. It may also tell me, I'm going to say here we have Libra energy. It may tell me, Counselor, that you're letting go of a burden. You're letting go of hurt from the past. I'm going to say for some of you, I do pick up this could be a change that's happening, some sort of justice. You get justice in the situation because look at this. You have Tower and you also have the Page of Pentacles. There could be an unexpected message or I'm getting an unexpected opportunity that leads you down a new path here with the Two of Wands. And look at that. Here's where the energy shifts. Okay, so some sort of message or opportunity that you're not expecting here. And I feel like you're going to have a big decision. It may be that crossroads energy, but I want to clarify this justice energy. Tell me more about justice. Tell me more about justice. I didn't say it could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Capricorn Taurus, Virgo, three of pentacles, eight of cups. And look, the decision here, two of wands, and you also have here the three of cups. It's too, e it's too early, Cancer, I feel in the read right now to tell if this is somebody new or somebody from the past, because right now I see it could be either. But clarifying that just, justice, There is, I feel, either you're walking away from a burden of the past, a hurt of the past, and you're now focused on the future, right? Like I said, there's some sort of opportunity. I'm also seeing here the Three of Cups, which tells me that you're going to be connecting with somebody. We saw the opportunity. This is also a card of communication, right? Some of you are walking away from a situation, something that you know, you you try to work on. But I feel like a lot of you right now may be going through a transformation in your life and you're taking a new path. Others, I feel like this could be a fire sign in Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. Somebody I feel who has been planning, planning to make a situation right. Maybe a situation where they feel responsible here with that 10 of wands, like they're carrying the responsibility of the hurt what happened could even be a betrayal and you got the three of pentacles and the eight of cups and then the three of cups so somebody wanting to connect with you wanting to rebuild and i said this is a rebuild energy 
but I feel some of you, it may be taking a new path, maybe walking away from this, letting go of the burden and connecting to new people. But I see some hesitation here with the Four of Cups. So that could be on your part of this person. Take it how it resonates. Let's go to partnership. Let's clarify partnership. Thank you, Spirit. What can you share with Counselor? Why is partnership here? Why is partnership here? See, I see somebody coming towards... Oh my God, we got two knights here. Let's get another card with this. And Queen of Cups, your energy, okay. And you also have here the Five of Cups, Regret, the Sun card, Leo energy. Okay. You know, this card gives me kind of a Twin Flame vibe as well. So let's go through this. It may be too that you walked away from some sort of situation and that was part of your growth and your transformation. But then here you got somebody here planning, wanting to make things right with you. I really, I more and more that I'm looking at this now, I feel like this could be um, somebody who, um, because this joint efforts can talk about respect, somebody who needs to earn your respect again. Knight of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands and Queen of Cups. I feel like this is somebody uh, returning into your life wanting to make something right now it doesn't have to be a lover if you don't resonate with love this you know this could be somebody in your life coming towards you eight of pentacles wanting to work on this relationship somebody who is going to pay attention somebody who i feel the change here is that you're this person's focus knight of wands so either they're returning or this is somebody who is coming like kind of excited about the newness about two of you coming together in a partnership or that's what they're they're thinking about because i see here right somebody having regrets having regrets wanting happiness here with you want to take action towards happiness what else can you tell cancer about this let's get a couple more cards nine of cups oh my gosh cancer you won't believe this the sun card again leo energy but you have the nine of cups and you also have here the four of wands this is this person's wish you're this person's wish now I'm going to say for some of you, if, if it doesn't resonate with the past person, this could also tell me that, you know, you're walking away from a situation where there were burdens and there's a new partner coming in for you. Someone who will give you the attention you deserve. This is somebody who will get to know you, who will court you. This mean by dating, you know, dating, getting to know you. And it's a very consistent energy now you, now because the nine of wands can also be your next lover it doesn't have to be the player or the inconsistent one but i do feel they're seeing the potential with you their wish i feel here is this four of wands energy now some of you could be a twin flame definitely because i get the twin flame vibe from there but you do have the sun card on the bottom of the deck could be a leo let's see why this promise of commitment is here Thank you, Spirit. Why is the promise of commitment here? Lovers. Oh my gosh, look at that. Lovers. The Page of Cups. Yeah, some sort of new situation is happening for you, Cancer. Could be a Gemini. Could be another water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is, this is somebody who's making the choice to choose you. Because you're already this person's wish. So this is somebody either you know from the past or somebody that is already around you. It could be somebody who's flirting with you here with the Page of Cups. Look what's on the bottom of the deck. Ten of Pentacles and your energy again, the Chariot. And look, you have the Two of Cups here as well. Nine of Swords. But they're worried. Something they're worried here about. 
Could be somebody who has feelings for you. Let's see what else comes through. What else can you share with Cancer about this? This is somebody who sees something long lasting. You've got Sagittarius energy, Five of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, see, I definitely get like earning your respect. Earning your respect, Cancer. I don't know why I'm hearing this, but I feel like this is somebody who's used to getting what they want. Trying to make it happen here with the magician. Why is the Five of Swords here? Now, some of you, this could be somebody that you had a, a conflict with. Some time has passed, and now they got to earn your respect again, right? Show you uh, your value. Yeah, Eight of Wands. Let's get another one for the Five of Swords. This could be somebody that you went through some difficulties with, too. Queen of Swords. Okay, no, it's this this person's conflicted because there's something here about this person being very discerned, coming towards you with communication. Oh, look, it's an Emperor energy. Didn't we have the Empress somewhere? Maybe not. I thought I saw the Empress, but here's the Emperor. Could be an Aries, Divine Masculine energy. Somebody coming towards you. They're they're being very discerned about. The communication. Some of you, it could be around some sort of truth. Seven of Swords, Page of Pentacles. Yeah, see, it's their strategy. Their strategy here around communication. And look, yeah, a new start in love, the Ace of Cups. So, Cancer, there's some sort of big change here that's about to happen, I feel, in love someone who is coming towards you they have relationship in mind that's the wish here this is somebody who already knows they want to be with you and, and some of you could be a new love here but i do feel like there's something here it's taken this time they're hung up on the communication for some reason what else does counselor need to know about this this could be someone trying to learn um a much about you as much about you that they can some of you too, maybe you go to school with this person, can also be karmic lessons. If this is somebody from the past, a table, um, an offer on the table. Yeah, see that's someone's gonna, somebody who's choosing you and you're gonna get some sort of invitation from this person. Got an energy clearing here. Okay, this is gonna talk about health and wellness, but it's a healing energy. So this could be somebody too very attracted to your energy cancer that you may feel very healing or nurturing to this person. The phone is ringing, cancer. <laughs> your phone's gonna be ringing soon. Okay, you got your burdens and sacrifice. Now I'm gonna say for some of you, it may resonate that's the past person. Maybe it's somebody that you sacrifice some happiness in what happened between the two of you. It does say there were consequences. So there may have been some karma, some consequences here. That's not going to resonate with everybody. I'm going to say this could also be somebody who has gone through some sort of loss recently. And that could also be too. Not that that's a bad thing, but they could be very drawn to your energy because um, of some sort of loss that they've recently gone through. But you, oh, look at that. You have the lovers. You have the lovers, two paths here. Mm. It says two choices here. Some of you could be already in a connection and then you have a choice. This could also tell me that this person could be already, could be romantically involved with somebody, but they're choosing you. That's what I'm feeling here. You got hard work and sweet results. This person wants to work on this connection or this relationship with you, Cancer. That's what I'm strongly getting. I feel like many of you, it will resonate with a past person more so than a new person, but I'm not ruling out a new person here. 
because I feel like some of you, if that's what your, your transformation is, you're walking away, you're letting go burdens here. I feel there's somebody new coming in or there's already somebody around you that really desires you. And they see the potential as something long term with you, but they're just kind of hung up on the communication, like what to say to you. So I feel like I want to pull some more energy in here. What does Cancer need to know about this? What else does Cancer need to know about this? Yeah, they're trying to find out all they can about you. Oh my gosh, they're so worried. They're so worried about the communication. We're going to have to ask some of you if this is someone you already know. They may be waiting for you to reach out, but maybe not seeing that happen. So I do feel like they're kind of curious. They may be trying to find out what they can. Two of Pentacles, they may be going back and forth. You see, there's something here about this person going back and forth about the communication. They're, they're worried here. Let's see what this person's worried about. What is this person worried about? Nine of Pentacles. Oh, you're looking good, Cancer. You're looking really good. You're looking attractive here. Maybe worried that uh, others have their eye on you, Cancer. Mm, Nine of Wands. Ooh, they may think you're out there dating. I don't know why I'm hearing like hot toddy. Maybe you're going out and drinking hot toddies. I don't know. Oh, I've never even had a hot toddy, so I don't even know where that came from. Okay. Queen of Wands. Yeah. This person really desires you, Cancer. And maybe you're coming across like very um, assertive, really nice energy. Now you do have justice on the bottom of the deck. Definitely going to resonate. Yeah, this person's going to find their balance. That's what it's showing me. They're going to find their balance. They're going to reach out to you. But this is somebody who's kind of in their head because they're seeing you together. They're seeing you um, very attractive. They may feel you have another love in your life. That could be that energy as well. Let's see why the Page of Wands is here. It tells me they desire you. Tell me more about this Page of Wands. I feel, I don't know, I get some, so with this page of wands, I feel like this is someone who like wants to be your protector. I don't know why I get that, but let's see what else. Page of pentacles, three of swords, eight of swords. Okay, so either there was a past hurt between the two of you. Yeah, and they've been waiting. They thought maybe they'd hear from you, but they haven't. Six of wands here, yeah. There's somebody who uh, wants your attention. Definitely feeling that way with the Six of Wands. Some of you who you resonate with this as a past person, it's because of what happened here, okay? They're in their head. There was some sort of hurt, a betrayal here. They want the opportunity with you. They want to take the step towards you, but they're just, you know, I told you they're going to find their balance. They're going to communicate. It shows me that. But I also feel for some of you, and some of you, it, it's they're going to reach out to you to, to restore balance. Okay, to restore order with you. But others, I'm just going to say this could just be somebody, right? They've had some loss. I said that with, you know, if it's a new person, they've had some loss. Maybe they've been the one to sacrifice their happiness in the past. And, you know, uh, this person's a little worried. You got the Page of Pentacles here. So it does feel like this person wants the opportunity. They are going to take the step towards you. So I feel like they're going to take like a small step towards you first and then come, come towards you. Let's see here. You've got the emperor. Yeah, they're strategizing. Oh, we already went through this. Yep, here it is. They're strategizing about the message, the communication. Yep. And there's the ace, ace of cups again. And then you have the two of cups. Okay. Some of you, this is somebody who already has feelings for you. So Cancer, I feel like this is someone who is seriously like their wish is to choose you to be with you. So Cancer, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel up.